what we're going to do today. I'm going to do a video that will probably be strange to ask, but my wish list for Screen Fortress 2017. That's right. Seeing as we're still waiting for the Pyro update and it's the 1st of October, I'm going to put my wishes out there for this Halloween, for this Screen Fortress. So, let's count down to five of them we can say, and you guys can give me your wish list for Screen Fortress. For me, three or four new maps for Screen Fortress. Now, we usually do get new maps, and as always, it's sometimes two, sometimes three, or sometimes four. Now, usually we get one Valve map and three or two community maps, which I might add, it's a good thing, because there are some pretty good community maps out there, and some nice Valve ones. So, you can always appreciate a good map here and there for Screen Fortress. And I love Halloween themed ones, of existing maps. And sometimes it's fun, and, you know, sometimes it's hilarious. Also, it's quite late, so I'm being a bit quiet. Next is Halloween themed weapons. Yes. But I'm wondering, well, one of the updates, there's, like, weapons that have sort of a Halloween themed. No, not the those ones. I'm talking about something like the Christmas weapons. You know, the Christmas weapons you get from the Naughty Crate? I'm thinking of that. Rather than Christmas decorations, we get Halloween decorations. Like, skulls, pumpkins, spiders that glow. That you can see on Christmas decorations, not Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations. Something like that. We haven't had any Halloween themed weapons. And I would love to see that. What about Halloween the fire? I wouldn't mind that. Making some weapons very scary. And it would give Screen Fortress more of a loving time than it would than last year. Next, double unusual drops. I never got an unusual from Halloween, and if they bring back the double drops, I will be happy. I'm not joking. I would literally be happy if they brought the chance to get an unusual. Like they did last year, they double the chance of you getting an unusual. I don't know what the potential chance for getting one originally, but it's nice. Gave you a chance to give you an unusual. I wasn't lucky. And yes, quite sad indeed, quite sad I didn't. But for others, they might have been lucky, and for some, not. Be it again, who knows. Next is longer or early update time. What I mean is, start Screen Fortress early, or set out at normal time, but make it last a bit more longer. Now you're probably saying, well, it'll probably come out at the same time as the Pyro update. What would be the point of doing that? They could let alone release it on Christmas, if you think about it, Billy. But, a longer Screen Fortress time. Maybe start, I don't know, early October, mid-October, rather than late. But... Yet again, something to ask. And yet again, sorry about a bit quiet. Yet again, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Quite a bit later, I have to admit. And lastly, and not least, new bosses or haunted items. Do you remember the time we had bosses and the haunted items? When was the last time we actually had a haunted item? Yeah. That's the thing. I know it's highly unlikely we're going to get new bosses. But what about haunted items? Because surely they're not completely replaced by the new crate system. Or case system, right? Like, haunted items? Like, come on, that that's nice to have. You've got a strange haunted item? Nice. But still, we can all wish things, and these are my wishes. What are your wishes, guys? Comment down below. And nine days till Team Fortress 2's birthday, so it's going to be a very, very 
interesting month. You wouldn't agree.